So now we're on week five, day two, and the title is Cracking Down. <laughs> Mr. Dorsey, our new principal, determined to do something about the flagrant cheating at our high school. So flagrant is something, um, something wrong, but it's something that you do in front of other people. Like, um, so it's, it's not a secret, but it is wrong. Like, I always think of, um, like, of a flagrant when I, um, let's see, that you are doing, but you're, like, flaunting it. Like, you can't do anything about this. I, I can do the wrong thing, and I'm fine, which apparently these people have been. So flagrant is, like, you're not keeping it a secret, because we talked about it in the last one, how they were not, you know, they weren't keeping it a secret. So it's when you're doing something wrong, but you're doing it in front of people because you think you can't get in trouble for it, basically. So, he issued bulletins and began to admonish those teachers who did not proctor alertly. So, admonish is to um, correct. So, it's to correct or um, teach someone or almost scold them. So, a lot of times that's what you do with, like, kids. You're not being, like, you know, mean or harsh. It's more of a gentle admonishment where you admonish uh, a child to correct their behavior without like any like punishment. So, um, who did not proctor alertly. Under duress, the faculty reported the names of the culprits. So duress is when you are pressured to do something that you don't want to do. Um, it's a, yeah, it's, it's sort of a force. Um, I'm, I'm gonna use like a, a policeman, uh, like a uh, criminal uh, example for actually both of those words. So uh, culprits is, um, it's the bad guy or the person, the presumed bad guy, the offender, the person who did the wrong thing. So I, as a policeman, could interrogate somebody and I'm asking all these questions and I'm putting them under duress, like under pressure to give me a confession, the culprit. So under pressure, the faculty reported the names of the culprits, bad guys. Several crib sheets, which I just learned were cheat sheets, uh, were turned in as tangible evidence of the cheating. So tangible is something, it's, um, it's physical that you can um, touch. It's a, an actual, like something real that you could, you know, uh, touch or taste or see or smell something like really that's really there. Like with the police again, it would be like, finding a fingerprint or, you know, finding a piece of clothing left behind or a hair or something, something real, whereas an intangible would be like an idea or a theory, something that's just in your head that doesn't have any like real something to hold on to as proof. Uh, Mr. Dorsey's inexorable campaign against the wrongdoers seemed to be paying off. So inexorable is unavoidable, like it's something you can't get away from. So, um, they could not get away from Mr. Dorsey's campaign, uh, and it seemed to be working for him. Paying off is, is working. It's successful. It's, you know, when you, when you get paid, you know, that's a good thing. So, you're doing the right thing, and you're getting money for it. So, this is what this is. He's uh, getting the wrongdoers, and it's working for him. So, as far as those words go, inexorable, honestly, I don't use too much in sentences. Um, culprits, definitely we use in a sentence because, you know, the whole, like, we love our crime drama shows where we watch, you know, all those law and order things, you know, and it's always about the culprit. So we definitely use that. Um, dress, honestly, I don't think I use that much. Uh, admonish. Yeah, we do, because I mean, I think, you know, like, especially when I use that example, it's really, it's really more for children. Like, so, in this case, he was using it for the teachers, but I don't know if that's really how you want to use that. Mostly, so you'd be using it as, like, I admonished the kids, you know, taught them, explained to them, you know, gave a lesson, don't do that, you know, that's wrong, but I'm not being, like, hateful about it. And, uh, flagrant... I don't really use it that much, honestly. I mean, it's a good word, but I'm not gonna use it too much in sentences. Thank you so much. You're welcome.